Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's that time, it's tarot time with Cindy, my friends. Um, it's just gonna be an open general reading and I actually like, I just feel like I don't have a spread here. I don't, I'm not pulling any cards ahead of time. This is kind of like, just like, it feels like I need to just pull cards on the fly, open message. It's gonna resonate for whoever it resonates for. And um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with, I think I'm gonna start with the Wild Unknown uh, Oracle deck. So what is the energy? What is kind of the, the energy around the collective right now? What is the energy around the collective at this time? The energy around the collective. Cheetah. Wow. Like things are speeding up here. There might be like sort of um, strong impulses going on around you. It's a sense of like whirlwind also really strong. Wow. There's a lot of, like, there's a lot of cat energy here. Cheetah and the lion and the fox. What is this cheetah running towards? The cheetah is running towards something here. Strong intention, strong intention, strong intention with the collective. The dragonfly. Running towards like some type of enlightenment. Okay, I feel like the collective, I feel like you're starting to realize something. And it's coming in quickly. It's coming in really fast. You're starting to realize something and it's coming in really fast. What are you starting to realize? What are you starting to see? What is the collective? Wow, the dolphin healing. You're either seeing, okay, you're seeing, oh, wow. I feel like you're identifying things within yourself and things outside of yourself that represent healing. There's things here that are being unmasked. These might be things about yourself. And these might be things about yourself that are being triggered by things outside of you. It's kind of interesting though too. Look at, as I've laid these cards down, I just kind of did it randomly, but this is how they've all ended up. And the cheetah and the dolphin are both kind of converging at this dragonfly energy. A dragonfly could actually be very symbolic for some of you. There could be, um, I don't know, a situation where there are dragonflies. Oh, the black egg is at the bottom. Yeah, deep hidden truths. I, I kind of want to say, though, I feel like there's something going on here where you're quickly getting past any types of illusions that have been in your life. And you're, look at how both of these have the same energy around them. They have like these circles that are spinning in the background, like... Okay, I feel like your life is about to pick up pace here. Your life is about to pick up pace. And I'm seeing, like, I'm seeing this cheetah running towards, like, the dragonfly can represent, you know, like, illusions and things that are starting to, um, you don't see them clearly. There's something here that you haven't been seeing clearly. And it's almost like this cloud that's sitting between you and the other side of like this karmically healed cycle. And it's like, because the cheetah is moving so quick, it just, poof, you see the cloud just disperses. And then there's like some type of confusion. You're changing, you're alchemizing through the use of air. So possibly the intellect, um, thought. You're alchemizing impulse fire, desire, intention into, I want to say like healed emotions. It kind of feels like too, if there's something here that's been like a bit of a hurdle with something that you've been working on healing or something you've been trying to understand, you're about to bust right through it. 
All right, so you're about to bust right through something here that you've been trying to heal or trying to understand. So let's get cards for the cheetah. There's an Appa song coming in. Some of us are, how does that go? Feeling. Oh, I'm just getting the part feeling stupid, feeling small. What is that song? Some of us are, what is it, lonely? Or some of us are, I just keep hearing the verse where it says feeling stupid, feeling small. I don't know, maybe there's something that you've been struggling with, like feeling stupid, feeling small, and busting like right through that. Something's about to happen here. You have so much momentum in some type of healing practice or intention that you've been um, focusing on that you're like about to bust right through. The cheetah. Wow. The daughter of swords. I mean, just look too, it's gliding. Like thoughts ideas the page of swords judgment the five of swords that's got the feeling of like cutting through whatever this is like whatever illusion whether it's some type of illusion that's been cast around you or it's some type of illusion that you've been working through like for yourself in whatever way that comes through, that's what you're busting through here. The dragonfly. This is like the fog in the cloud that sits between you and healing. <laughs> you and healing. The dragonfly. The seven of swords. The High Priestess and the Seven of Wands. I want to say it almost feels like something that you haven't wanted to look at. Something that you haven't wanted to look at. Something that you've been trying not to look at. You're moving so fast towards it right now. There could be something here, like some type of breakdown within the ego. There could, have, there could be some type of ego mechanism that's been functioning. It's like, I think, who is it? I think I got, I coined, I don't know that she coined this phrase, but um, credit where credit is due. Where I've, ever I've heard that is with Jess Puckett. And she'll always say, um, what does she call it? It's a functioning dysfunction. It could be something like that because... I don't know, you're maybe you're coming up with a, a different way of functioning here. So you're pushing through like a f so I feel like it's a functioning dysfunction on some level of the ego. Something that you haven't wanted to look at, but you're moving so fast towards it. Yeah, you're. OK, that's interesting. So. I really don't know that the context is correct, but it's the, the symbolism of the metaphor. It's almost like um, I'm seeing somebody who's like on a dance floor and they're dancing around and they're dancing with different people. But there's something over here that you don't want to look at. So you spend the whole evening like, no, I'm not going to go over there. I'm not going to dance with that person. I'm not going to turn in that direction. But it's almost like the song picks up, and, you know, you're like going from one part into another. And all of a sudden, boom, like it's like you just end up right in front of that person or it's like but it's like right in front of the issue or right in front of something that you've been trying to I don't know that you've been trying to avoid it I but it's coming across like like either your ego your mind or your interpretation has been spinning you around and around and around and around it's like that's the part here that's like it keeps you functioning but it's dysfunctional because you're not hitting what you need to hit or move through and then once you do that, oh, well, there's the exit door. <laughs> the exit door is actually on the other side of whatever this is that you need to bust through. The song is picking up. <laughs> they changed the song. And it's so it actually it just kind of happens. You get lost in the moment. Even you're lost in the moment. And before you know it. 
I, I feel like it's something that comes through surprise. You, you're dealing with something, but it doesn't necessarily feel like it's a person. Like, you know, that's what I said. I don't know that the context is correct in the way this metaphor is coming across, but that's just how it feels like. And it's almost like being in this room. Like, you know, I just want to get out of this room. I don't want to sit here and dance and I don't want to do this. I've been doing this forever, right? It's like got that feeling. But well, the exit door is over there. It's literally in the direction of something that you don't want to look at or something that you don't your ego's been like, oh, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. But that's how you get the fuck out. <laughs> like you go through whatever that is that you haven't wanted to look at. So that's interesting. So the dolphin, but that feels like the exit door. Yeah, the way this is spinning. To, so even the way that this is spinning, like these are all solid lines, these circles, but they're all starting to break up. It's almost like you kind of come out of this room that you've been dancing in. I feel like it's a room that you've been dancing with your ego. <laughs> now I'm almost hearing David Bowie coming through. Dancing with myself. Feeling, feeling stupid, feeling, wow, there's a lot of stuff coming in here. Right, I keep getting that phrase um, in that song from ABBA. Feeling stupid, feeling small. And then dancing with yourself. But it's like dancing with your ego. Your, your ego has been dancing around something. And it's gotten to the point where the song has, the pace of the song has picked up so quickly. You're hurtling towards the exact thing that you've been trying to avoid. The ego hasn't wanted you to look at. But the minute you look at it, you're out the door. You exit whatever this is that your ego's got you spinning around on. Or functioning in. Saying, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> like that, huh? Okay. The dolphin. The fool. Well, I like that. What I said. It's like you go out the door. <laughs> go out the door. The fool. The four of pentacles. And the two of pentacles. You go out the door and everything slows down. <laughs> Say that. It's like everything slows down. But this, I, I want to kind of, okay. This is, I feel, this is the thing though that has kept you stuck. There's something here that you haven't looked at or you haven't acknowledged And it's, it's, it's just that, right? Like it's that, that ballroom or whatever, you know, dance floor in this room. And you're going from, I don't know, maybe some of you, maybe this is like from one partner to another, to another, but that could symbolize like just like going from one thing to another, to another throughout the day and doing that every day, but not wanting to go over. I'm not going over to that partner. I'm not going over to that one. I'm not going to that issue. I'm going to dance around it. And eventually, you're like, this is so repetitive, I got to get the fuck out of this room. I can't. It's like, well, yeah, the exit sign is over there. It's like your higher self, your higher self or even your guides are saying, like, the exit sign is over there. Oh, and your ego's like, don't, don't even, don't even touch that. Don't even look at that. Don't even think that. No, 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 no. And then, I don't know, like, it's something that you haven't. It could be like a method of operation that you have with yourself or of yourself here that maybe your ego has convinced you is successful and it's not because it just has you spinning in circles. I mean, it could be something like that. I feel like whatever this is that's about to be broken down is for your benefit. So, hello. <laughs> Six of Cups and the Devil. Well, look at that. The Six of Cups and the Devil. Wow. I don't know. There could be like some type of past trauma or this this could be like a bad habit. Could be an ancestral bad habit with the Six of Cups. Something 
something to do with relationships from your past that have produced a bad habit, a bad function. There we go too with that fun. It's like the functioning dysfunction. It's exactly what it is because you're functioning on the dance floor, but then you don't want to be there. I don't want to be doing this. <laughs> Horrible. You there? There's one door out, which is probably not a health co a fire code. You should probably have two exit doors. But anyways, in this room, there's only one. There's only one. And um, it's one thing you got to push through. Where's the uh, the pocket size edition of this deck? Okay. Pushing through the functioning dysfunction. Oh, my finger. I put my finger stuck in something this morning. And I bruised it. My nail. It actually really hurts. Okay. Cheetah. This, like, just catapulting. It just it's like the song is picking up oh my god that's crazy look at the ace of pentacles right and it's spinning what is this i kind of want to say too it's almost like there's things going on around you things that are happening around you that um and some in some regard here they're out of your control like it just feels like it, like right um, if we were t just looking at the metaphor of the dance floor and the DJ is the one who's picking the music and the dance goes to the speed of the song. And it's almost like spirits get, I'm getting that song. I'm getting it going so fast here <laughs> before you know it, you're going to be looking at this issue and you your, your guard is finally down because you're just like, Oh, okay. What's going on? <laughs> Boom. Oh. <sighs> But I don't feel like like that's the funny thing. It's like because it doesn't feel like it's something that you spend a lot of time. Like once you hit it, it's actually, oh, my God, it's not that big a deal or it. It's like, oh, I have to do is walk out the door now, like exit this silly thing that's been spinning around in your head or. It could even be something that you've been spinning around like. A, a type of relationship. And I go, all I need to do is like, look at this and walk out the door. The Daughter of Swords. The Magician. It's just seen the number of like, I know, I mean, there's obviously a few in this deck, but we, we, and we had the lion at one point. Um, was the underline until I kept shuffling. But then we got the cheetah, and you've got the uh, um, Siberian tiger. Uh, you've got the um, the leopard. <laughs> it's a lot of cat energy here. Judgment. The tower. Jeez. The tower, the eight of pentacles, and the son of pentacles. The five of swords. The four, the four of swords. I love that because the five of swords is like, whatever it takes, I'm going to do it. Or I don't care what happens. I got to do this uh, at any cost. It's kind of like that at any cost card, at any cost to heal something. You're going to, you're looking at something. You're looking at something here. And I feel like you're, you're having a breakthrough moment. You're having a breakthrough moment. And it is, it says, I feel like it has something to do with the ego. And I don't know why I'm saying that. I mean, there's, maybe it's because of the dragonfly is the thing that you're pushing through here. And that represents air energy. But this, I think this little pile here is giving me, it's like something that you haven't wanted to look at. Because the magician card, as it's laying on the table, is looking down this whole line of cards here. And with the five of swords and the four of swords, right? We're going to heal, heal that healing. It's giving you, it's creating like a conscious awareness that's to, an, or a new level of it. Like, I'm not going to say you guys aren't consciously aware. It's like a new level of conscious awareness, pushing past some type of ego mechanism that has likely been 
I don't know, helping you to function in certain situations. I kind of want to say probably situations that existed in the past and past relationships. But that function doesn't work, well, let's say in healthier relationships or a healthier situation or environment, whatever this could represent. Mm -hmm. The dragonfly. Oh my God, I can, it is. It's got the 10 of swords. Oh, the magician tried to move. The 10 of swords and the strength card. This is a part of your ego you have not wanted to let go of. Where well, your ego hasn't wanted you to let go of it. I feel like it's that. It's like the ego will come up with ways to, um, and that dance floor is just the perfect, ex I don't know, it's almost like a movie or something. Someone is just like going, <laughs> and it's just like the music is speeding up and before you know, ah, like, boom. And you hit the one thing that your ego has wanted to keep you distracted from, but the universe is the DJ and it's in charge of the pace of the music. It's like, I'm going to pick up the pace. I'm going to pick it up, pick it up to the point that the ego can't be in this functioning dysfunction because there isn't any time to adjust to what's going on. So I don't know. Things could speed up. You could find yourself in a situation um, like, OK, it could be a situation that you've been dealing with, but not dealing with it directly. And you're going to find yourself kind of coming to a head with it. But the head feels very short. Like it, to be quite honest, it feels like this could be something that you've dealt with for a long time. Could be years, could be decades, but it almost feels like something that could resolve in just a couple minutes. Right? And then you go out the door. The Seven of Swords. The Star. Oh my God, this is a huge healing moment. Huge. It's a thing you haven't wanted to look at. The high priestess. I can't believe that. I feel like, you know what? I, okay. I, um, I hung out yesterday with San from Santero and Mariana from MN, MN Tarot. Yes, MN Tarot. I feel like, like, I feel like they did like a little, I don't know. Maybe it was like, I just feel like my own intuition, like it's crazy. Um, anyways, we get the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Shout out to those two ladies, because I feel like just hanging out with them um, even opened up my intuition here for this reading for you. It's crazy, because what is the Eight of Swords? It's the thing that you believe you can't do. If you reverse that, you don't, it's not, you're not limited by your belief system. The Seven of Wands. The Daughter of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. That's just coming off as beginner mind. That is coming off as beginner mind in this reading. Yeah. The Dolphin. Interesting. It's the Emperor in reverse. I, I mean... The emperor in reverse is kind of like a, con a control freak, is a domineering leader, um, is someone who, well, yeah, a manipulator, narcissist. There's a lot of things that could come in with that energy. So there could be something here even about yourself. There could be even some type of, okay, I want to say there could be some type of narcissistic behavior that you've been surrounded by. And it could be some type of behavioral pattern that you may have even picked up that's narcissistic, but you're not a narcissist. Like there's something in your past here that is very unhealthy. And it, oh my gosh, look at the Eight of Swords in the reverse is there. It's almost like you had a clear vision about yourself at some point. And then something changed here. So the fool. I just think these are all coming in the reverse. The father of wands. So the uh, king of wands in the reverse and the three of cups in the reverse. Well, I kind of want to say the Father of Wands in the reverse 
is like fire energy is very representative of the emperor as well as aries five of wands the five king of wands is leo energy but they well that's also interesting because you do have leo energy here but it is coming up in a healthy no it's not actually no it's not because it's here with the ten of swords that's the part of the ego that's been hanging on it could be a sense of pride could be a sense of pride pride ego defending this pride Now, I don't know. I'm thinking about that the way that's coming through because if this is something that was created, it's almost like knowing who you are and having a function and then being in some sort of situation that becomes dysfunctional, but you need to survive in it. So what do you become? But you become part of the dysfunction. So you're moving past part of the dysfunction here. Because the King of Wands in the reverse is definitely somebody who's, uh, I would describe as um, a narcissist, uh, huge inflated ego. Three of Wands, Three of Cups in the reverse is, I kind of want to say this is uh, wanting to do things on your own. Doing things on your own, perhaps also not getting together with um, a person or some people from your past. The Four of Pentacles. Wow, the Mother of Cups. Well, that's beautiful because that's the grounded energy that you walk out the door into. It's love, it's openness, it's flow. The Two of Pentacles. Okay, it's interesting. The Seven of Cups has come out in the reverse. The Father of Pentacles is in the upright and the Seven of Pentacles is in the upright. This is moving right past an illusion. Well, and that, right? I mean, it kind of beat it around the bush, getting to that with the dragonfly and the cheetah running towards it. This is moving past an illusion. And this is, I don't know, it's almost feeling like completely grounded, completely grounded and stable and building success with that and creating... Um, Creating a plan like on that energy. Three of Wands. Okay, well, that's interesting. If I go back here, it's all in different order. But the Fool is in the reverse. No, so, okay, so here we go. The Fool could have also been. It's not always about like a fresh start in, in something, right? It can be about having a very unique and unusual approach, being Aquarian energy. But it could also be because the fool is the representation of the, the very beginning of the major arcana. There is no experience here. The fool does not have any experience. And there could have been something here, something in some way that you were possibly trying to survive in manipulation because manipulation seems to be the mechanism that is healed here but it's almost like there's a part of your ego here that has been functioning in that mechanism and moving past it oh, why did I, oh yeah because i was talking about this so okay so the fool um it could also be like some type of a false start so it's i want to say being wiser learning something along the way um, having a false start and then having a false start and expecting things to come towards you, possibly. Eight of Cups in the reverse, the King of Swords, Justice. I kind of want to say that this is really noticing something that is unequal, that is not right. And not being emotionally involved in that or not using any sort of emotional context to come to a decision or to see something clearly. Okay, so... Uh, there you go. I'm going to go do the extended. I'm going to just pull out cards. Like, I'm just going to, like, I think I'm just going to keep pulling out on the fly. Like I am here. I'll, I think I will. I think I'll pick all these cards up and just continue to let spirit talk to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.